Hello everyone. Welcome to Diamond to Pooja's books. Let's talk about another interesting topic today. Animals don't have internet, GPS or even maps to find their destination. Yet each year they manage to travel their way across thousands of miles of land and sea. How? Many animals including mammals, birds, fishes, insects move from one place to another at a certain time of a year. This movement is called migration. Migration is a part of life cycle of most of the animals. Why do they move or migrate? Animals migrate for different reasons. Many migrate to breed, lay eggs, mate, or to find food. Some migrate to places where they can hibernate or rest for the winter. Others migrate because the weather is too hot, too cold, or too wet, or too dry during certain times of the year. Now the question is, how do they move or go to the place they want to go? without having any GPS or phone or maps. Imagine yourself visiting a new big city for the first time. You have spent all day wandering around the city, trying new foods, visiting the shopping malls. But now, as the sky begins dark, you realize that you are lost. And worst of all, your phone is totally dead. What do you do now? How do you find your way back to the hotel? You think about asking for directions, but immediately you realize that you are in a foreign country and you don't know the language. What would you do? In the wild, animals are constantly facing similar situations almost every day. They frequently venture away from home in order to find maize, food and shelter, among many other things. Eventually, they need to find their way back home, a behavior known as homing. But how exactly do they do it? Thanks to the efforts of many researchers, we now know some really cool things about homing behaviors. Let's study them. Animals find their way over vast distances in an impressive number of ways. The kind of natural map animal follows depends largely on the species. So different animals use different techniques. Let's talk about them one by one. Seabirds are believed to steer mostly by the help of sun and the stars. They use the position of the sun as a compass to help them navigate over long distances. But what about birds such as waterfowl which migrate at night? Many of them look to the stars for guidance. Many more animals navigate via magnetism. This might be new to you. So, magnetism means orienting themselves along the north-south lines of Earth's magnetic field. Interesting, no? An example is sea turtles. Wanna know an awesome fact? Female sea turtles return to the beach where they were born after almost a decade to lay their own eggs. In all these times, they might have roamed almost half an ocean. So how do they come back to the same beach where they were born? Answer is magnetism. Baby sea turtles typically migrate east after hatching, following the magnetic field. So, they come back using the Earth's magnetic signals. A study showed changing the orientation of magnetic generators around the swimming pool changed the directions in which the sea turtles swam to, proving the point that we just discussed. Pigeons were thought to navigate the same way, especially since they have cells in their beaks, which are heavy in iron. So, they can be attracted towards the magnetic field through their beak. Now you see why pigeons were used as messengers in the ancient times. Dogs, on the other hand, no surprise, are very big on scent or smell. And that can take them a very long way. 
A dog that wanders out in its own immediate range might pick up the scent of say a familiar dog or some known person in the next uh, circle. They can take the smell of the trees or restaurants or the trash cans and that is how they figure out their way. Cats might rely on magnetic fields again. A faculty that could turn out to be quite common in mammals. There are some studies that show that the ears of most mammals contain iron. That may cue them into the magnetic directions in the ground. There is work showing that cattle, deer, wolves tend to orient in the north-south direction. Many other animals use visual landmarks to help them move from one place to another. For example, elephants migrate largely by sight. The oldest female elephant has learned to use fixed landmarks such as rivers, mountain ranges to lead the other members of the herd to food, water and safety. Some animals rely more on their sense of smell to figure out where they are going. Fun fact, emperor penguins who are excellent swimmers walk across 125 miles of ice each year to the place where they birth their chicks. So to summarize, animals use different techniques like guidance from sun or stars, earth's magnetic field, strong sense of smell or visual landmarks like mountains, rivers or the wind stream to navigate. Don't this make you think how smart the animals are? Comment on how do you like this and also comment what are the questions you would like me to answer. Press the like button if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. See you again soon. Keep on learning, keep on watching. Bye-bye.